Okay, this is just a short little tutorial on how to actually access the Gmetrics um, tutorial information about learning Photoshop and what all is entailed with that. So Gmetrics is basically just a online creator of different uh, course material that gets you acclimated to using Photoshop. And that is the ultimate goal of this classroom. So um, if you click on Canvas, right, so this assignment here, then uh, this Gmetrics student login right here that I'm highlighting, that's what you're going to click on and it's going to take you straight to here. Then you're going to need to uh, access your Gmail account and you need to click on, this was my school provider account, but click on your school provider account. Okay, mine is a little different so I have to put in my username and password. Just know you will not do that. You will use your um, Google account to log in. So it might not look like this when you first log in, but uh, it should, it should say uh, act, redeem kind of thing. If it does not, you need to click on redeem. Okay? And it should shoot um, chill like this when you first log in. And then that redeem code is actually right here. It's the L key. This access code. So just copy that. And then that should actually be the redeem code you put in there. When you redeem it, um, you have some options there to choose what kind of Creative Cloud um, software you're going to learn. And we want to use Photoshop right here. Okay. So this is the course home page here, and we're working on less um, session one, which is actually working in the design industry. Okay. So pre-assessment, uh, you would take that. There's a total of seven questions there, and you just this is what it looks like. You know, got the skip, you know, stuff like that. This is the way it will look on the uh, practice test. It'll look similar to this. But I am not sure if you're required to make 100% on it. But ultimately, you need to make sure it has the green check that shows that you've completed that pre-assessment. Now, if we move on to the lesson lesson one here, you've got the video you need to complete and watch. There, the video time is about 10 minutes, nine and a half minutes here. Then the exercise lab. Exercise lab is actually web-based, so you do not have to have Photoshop installed on your computer. So everyone needs to complete that. And you can see it's more of a, this is just a one. There's only one question there. So this is actually matching. You've got copyright, fair use, intellectual property, and stuff like that, that we can match up with different things. And uh, we'll be talking a little bit more about copywriting and fair use. But this is a kind of an introductory idea about this. Okay, Since uh, copywriting is something that's very important um, in dealing with graphic design. So I'll get out of that. Then, um, once you've finished the exercise labs, you've got the student workbook. Okay, for lesson one, you've got the student workbook. It will download a PDF. The PDF will look exactly like this. It's got a fillable PDF form, and you've got, like, knowing your blank includes knowing the demographics of those your work will be directed at which is audience or purpose. That's a kind of a hint. And so you would actually enter in. I'm not sure what that is. But anyway, um, you would enter that in and save that. It's got two pages here. And you would save that and upload that. OK? So going back to when you finish the lesson one, then you're going to actually open up lesson two. So you're going to watch the video, exercise lab again. Then you click on this student workbook. And it's got another PDF. So I've got uh, lesson one that I need to complete and save. And then I've got lesson two. Okay. So when you finish everything, it should look like this. It should have 100% up here. Oh, I'm sorry. Up here it says 100%. And you've got pre-assessment done. You've got lesson one completed. Both check marks there. All three. I'm sorry. Then lesson two completed. And all four check marks there. And I'm sorry, three. And you have to finish the post. Okay, so you click on that, 
and uh, there's a total of 21 items there okay so it's a little longer so you make sure and complete that so you've got 100% complete there then what you're going to do if I go back to canvas you can see here uh, I'm saying here that once you complete this you will need to upload three things the first thing you will need to, to um, take a screenshot of that that's showing me that you've completed 100% of lesson of session one which is actually working in the design industry that shows me that you've completed everything and it needs to look exactly like this and then also you need to actually download lesson one student workbook fill in the blanks then upload the completed PDF into this assignment and it should look like this with it completed out okay and then you got session two you know that's session two right here and I'm sorry yeah and then uh, download the less, lesson two student workbook fill in the blanks then upload that completed PDF to the assignment so there's three things you got the screenshot of your completed everything completed for working in the design industry then you've got lesson one PDF and lesson two PDF so there's three files there you can upload and then it has to be all three of them for you to actually have everything completed okay so that should uh, finish everything but thanks for watching